Well, first of all, the, what the GP should do is to ask a few questions to check out whether there is a memory problem. It's what we call meaningful memory. Can you tell me the names of children? I do take tablets in the morning. And then if the GP says, yes, I think there is a problem with memory, then it should be a blood test and a physical examination and a review of the medicines that the person might be taking, just in case there could be something called delirium going on, which might cause a problem with memory. If the GP says, well, look, the health is fine, but there is a problem with memory, then they should refer to a specialist. And then the specialist will do more detailed, in-depth testing, which might, not always, but might involve a brain scan. That's an MRI scan or a CAT scan. I think there are two things. One, never be afraid to ask questions. And two, a lot will be said, and it's a distressing time. You might feel a bit overwhelmed, so write things down. Jot down what that doctor is saying in terms of this is the problem, and maybe these are the suggested things you might do in the future. And so you go away armed with that information that you can refer to when you're at home and you can sort of calm down and reflect. There are three medicines that are prescribed for dementia. They're known as the anti-dementia drugs. They're only prescribed for Alzheimer's disease, so they're not for vascular dementia or Lewy body disease or any, any of the others. The technical term is acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. The three are Reminil, Exelon and Aricept, and they help for about 18 to 24 months. They don't help everybody, but they do help most people, and that they slow the disease progression down. The, the, the brain has a chemistry that is damaged in Alzheimer's disease. The chemical links between the brain cells is affected, and so what the drugs do, they, they energize, they uplift that chemistry, so the signals fire between the brain cells more effectively, which improves people's concentration. And if you're concentrating better, you can remember better, and if you remember better, you can do more, you can have conversations with people. So that's a very important reason to get that diagnosis as early as possible, so you can benefit from these drugs, because they tend to work best at the beginnings of dementia rather than later on. For those people who've got vascular dementia, because that's linked to strokes, the GP may give some sensible health advice and talk about drinking and smoking and the diet that somebody's on, maybe even suggest they might lose weight. But they may also prescribe medicines that may lower blood pressure and so as a consequence reduce the likelihood of somebody having another stroke. For Lewy body disease, unfortunately, there are no treatments and so you will not get a GP prescribing medicines for that condition. The diagnosis is all about preparing for the future. It's about anticipating what you might need. And there are such things as lasting power of attorney, giving responsibility to someone you've chosen to take responsibility for your affairs. And there are what are known as advanced decisions, which is all about the treatment, the medical treatments you may or may not want mm -hmm. as you advance into severe dementia. So you're, you're looking forward to the future and planning, so you avoid the crises. If you're later in the journey, when you get the diagnosis, then I think it is about contacting social services and you should be getting support from the GP at this point who will give you the names of the offices that you should be going to and that's about day centres, home care, maybe even Meals on Wheels. And there's some also very useful sites you can visit, lots of fact sheets that will answer many of the questions that you might be thinking about but haven't been told about when you got that diagnosis. So overall it's a, it's a critical time for getting things in order because you don't want the nasty surprises. And I think if you are prepared, there are less stresses and strains as you look ahead.